Hello and welcome to RoboCup 2016. So if you don't know much about RoboCup, there's several different disciplines. The whole event is basically like a, a collection of different events. You've got the RoboCup Soccer, you've got the Rescue League, the Simulation, At Home. Um, so there's all these different competitions going on at the same time. Uh, so we're competing in the RoboCup Rescue, which is sort of like a simulated uh, disaster scenario. So where a robot might be sent in to you know, search for survivors and things like that, or dangerous substances. Uh, rather than sending in you know, a human rescue team. So you, you use the robot as it's more sort of expendable than you know, human life really. We've got two setup days before the competition starts. So we've got three days of competing before the teams are selected for the finals. So we're basically doing some testing, just doing some final alterations. Uh, we've had the arm and the chassis working separately for our robot before we arrived here. Uh, we bolted them just uh, together just before we left and now we're just doing the final tweaks to get it all together. We know it works on the bench, we're just getting it all uh, soldered together, wired together and getting it all tested before we then come and do some practicing. So yesterday we had uh, a few uh, items to sort of look at. We snapped a chain during some testing just before we left, so we had to factor in some time for that in the morning. We attempted to do a little bit of that in the hotel room before we came here. Uh, we've also been looking at tidying up some wiring and then just shortening some cables and uh, things like that, just checking everything's working. So we've got uh, a multiple uh, obstacles, we've got like 45 degree inclines, we've got these blocks. Uh, there's a car that's got uh, doors open to simulating like a uh, survivors being stuck in a car in an earthquake scenario, for example. We've got steps, we've got metal grids. So far there's been quite a few teams show up and uh, uh, been testing their robots. Uh, looking. From our perspective, we're, ours is quite a small one compared to a lot of people's. Um, however, we've got advantages in terms of uh, mobility. So we're quite strong in that uh, particular almost discipline. It's now the end of the second day with testing and uh, we've had a few mechanical issues today. Uh, just upon driving around the course, upon putting our back flippers down, we've had a chain break. Um, so. We've had it happen before, so this time we're going to try a different chain from a different manufacturer to see if that makes any difference. Um, we're hoping it might be a bit stronger, apparently it's got hardened pins in it, so uh, hoping it might solve the issue. And uh, yeah, just going to replace that tonight and then see how we go in the morning.